Hello everybody, Alex here from Snake on Exotics and it is water filling up the tanks day. So we're cracking on filling up the tanks um, and then we're gonna do finish off the water, the wiring and all the pipe work for the big tanks. So all we should be doing tests and filling up tanks all day today. So we should be able to see what they look like all filled up and we should be raring to go. So uh, please like, subscribe, comment and share for me and I shall see you in a bit. So what we did, we went round and every single tank is still dead on the line. Dead on the line. So we've got no little slow drips. So we're topping them all up now, getting them all up to full full, and then we're gonna see if we've got any crackos. Ooh, touch wood we end. <laughs> Me and Meg both just pooed our pants because we heard the almighty crack, and then nothing. So we had a big crack. We don't know if it was next door or something like that, but we both just crapped our pants because we thought the tanks had gone. But we are almost done with the filling. So all the bottom ones are done, all filled up. All the mediums, oh, mediums, or the se second row is uh, all filled up, ready to go. <laughs> and then I'm just coming on to the fighter tanks now, topping all them up. And then, uh, and then we'll do the, that's the final test then of the filling. So uh, then I'm on to the big ones, which I've just finished. You can see I've took all the, well, opened up the facades because I've just finished doing the airline. So uh, we can start filling that up next. But let me now, we, me and Meg both just crapped our pants because we both thought something really bad happened then. It's a big almighty crack. I don't know if a tile broke underneath or something like that, but there was a big crack. But touch wood, nothing's happened to the tank, so. Don't know what that was. Thank God. There we go. We've, everybody's all filled up now. Apart from a couple at the end, I've had to leave them a little bit low because surprisingly, under thin plastic under gravel filters don't like being lifted out with the rocks on top. So I need to order some more under gravel filter pieces because I've cracked a couple. I think they're a bit fragile as well. They looked a bit old. So I've got to replace a couple of them. But apart from that, we are raring to go. So I've got to take all the marks off from where we had all the watermark lines and then turn all the lights on and then I've got to do the bubbler test. So we've got to test all the air lines are right and in the right places and stuff like that. There's no kinks. And then we are in the middle of doing the water test on the big three footers. So we're just doing the first couple of inches test. So we'll go around doing that on all of them and then um, see if everybody's holding water. Whoa. Hey there everybody, so I've got a plug, I've got a bubble at this end, and I've got a bubble at the other end. So we plug this one in first, see if it's got enough oomph to get stuff going. I might have to turn a load off because I bet a lot of the air is going to start coming out of these. So uh, I'll have to go through and turn a load of them off and hopefully that will start it going then. But we'll see, it might just come on and work straight away. So I'm going to plug it in and we'll have a look. See any bubbles? No bubbles as here yet. Hmm. Okay, so I'm going to have to go through, turn some of the other ones off, because air goes to passive least resistance. So if, if it can come out of these ones and not have to push the water out of the way, it's going to do that. So I'm going to have to go through, turn off all these bottom tanks so it's not leaking air, and then um, it should get these bubbling. Okay, so we're going to see if it needs the backup power of the other bubbler. So I'm going to plug that one in now and see if that gives us any more extra air pressure and gets the bubblers going. Oh, ah. Oh. 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 Bubbles! Oh. Yay! Bubbles! Oh, bubbles, bubbles, bubbles. We love the bubbles. We got bubbles. 
Couple of bubbles, couple of bubbles. So those ones now are start, starting to cycle. So uh, we're gonna go through now, turn some down, turn some up, even them out, get the right air on all of them. And then, uh, woohoo! There we go. We've got them all going now. I need to do a little bit of fine tuning because some of them are more powerful than others. But, bubbling away, bubbling away. It's what we like. So that's happy days, that's all working. Still need to do the heaters. That's gonna be a job for tomorrow. I'm gonna do all the wiring on the heaters. So uh, yeah, really happy with that. That still can't work out what that big crack was. I think it was next door. But uh, yeah, that did make us a bit scared. But we've also done the water tests on the big tanks. So you can see we've got water in every one of these. Test to see if anybody's leaking and we're doing okay so far. So we're, woo! Just gotta do, so I've done the airlines on there as well now. So tomorrow we'll fill them all the way up and then um, we should be good. So we've done some more work. Looks a bit better with the lights on, doesn't it? Woo! Got the lights on, binging. We likes the lights. So everything's all lit up, all lovely jubbly. It's just got to do a bit of clearing and stuff like that. And we've got to set it all down and it's all cycling now. We've got them all bubbling away. So uh, we are happy lovey. So um, we've got to do, I've got to do a bit more work on the big ones. And then uh, we should be raring to go then. Uh, Meg's been cleaning the big fridge down for us as well today. So we'll have a good butchers of that afterwards. But I think we've been doing really well, making some good progress on it all. <coughs> Everything's ticking away, going like the clappers. I'm going to have to turn some back to calm them down a little bit. But some of these are going like mad. The problem with some of them is they've got the old air stones that came with it from when it was running before. So it's going to slow some of it down. So I'll show you this one. You can see the air's getting to it, but the air stone isn't really letting it out. So I think that's the problem with some of them. The air stones are all blocked up. So you can see it's letting out some bubbles, but just not very many. So I think if we change that air stone, that should sort the problem out. I've got the same thing over here as well. It's just the odd bubble every now and then. The idea about, so I've had to come off the reptiles and I've gone straight into the fish. The idea behind this is, is because this has got a cycle. So while all this is cycling, that gives me time to do all the reptiles. Because if I'd done the reptiles, then did this, then this has got to sit and cycle for ages. So in theory, this should be ready by the time I've finished all that and everything should line up perfect and when we, when we have all the animals come in. So I think that'd be, it's going to be best case scenario, that is. Leave this, let it all run, let it cycle, and then um, jump on the reptile side once this is all ready and we can just leave it and let it run. And then um, we can dive straight into the reptile side, getting that looking cool. And then, because uh, so I've still got to have all the exoterras come down, we've got even more tanks to come down, so it's going to be man mental, it is. I've turned all the lights off so we can see the glow in the dark. It's proper made the lights grow with that, has moving now. We go by the front door. Woo wee! We get the camera, look at that! That looks so cool, that does, doesn't it? Oh, really, I can't wait for it all to be running and proper. I'll go turn the lights back on. <laughs> So we're going to have a quick look at what Meg's been doing all day today. Ooh, it's spotless. Absolutely spotless it is. She's been through every single little nook and cranny and give it a good clean. Ain't you, Meg? Uh -huh. She has. Whoa. God, let me bleach. <coughs> oh, whee. Yeah, that's uh, it's definitely clean. Oh, we're going to shut that. <laughs> oh. So we're gonna have to, gonna have to uh, um, open up and let it air out a bit. Oh no, I'm way with the fairies now. Woo -hoo. So uh, yeah, we've got to do that. So uh, we're gonna leave it just a jar tonight, and then once it's all aired out tomorrow, we're gonna get it turned on, and then we'll be frozen, and we're gonna put all the frozen fish food in there that we've got at home, because my fridge is just solid fish food, and I want some food, my food. <laughs> Okay then everybody, so that's it for today, we're just manic with all this stuff. So tomorrow is filling the big tanks all the way up, and heaters on these, and then um, hopefully we can jump on and get some other stuff done, and other bits and bobs, and then hopefully I can cut that panel out and we can do the um, that broken tank tomorrow as well. So please like, subscribe, comment and share for me, if you want to ring the bell, no, yeah, like, ring the bell, 
Um, if you want to watch another video, there's one there. If you want to subscribe to the channel, that's up there. And if you want to watch another video, it's up there. So I'll see you in the future. Bye.